So the Gibbon literally stole, <laughs> stole, stole Savannah's phone. What in the oh, heck? Yo, Owen D. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. And I am down here in sunny Miami. Paul Cafaro is joining us. Savannah is joining us. My buddy Jacob hey. is here to show us around. And look at, there's Oliver. Oliver, oh say God. hi. <laughs> We're gonna have an absolutely amazing day. Thanks for having us, Jacob. You're no the problem, man. man. All right, dude, let's go have some fun. Paul is getting some love from Oliver. Oh my gosh, yeah. you know, look at how cute he is. <laughs> I tell you, we literally haven't gotten 10 feet into the place and we've just been stopped here for like five minutes. It's just so cool. I mean, this is amazing. One of my favorite monkeys are gibbons. Hi, little buddy. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Cannot wait to get inside with it. I mean, look at how amazing. Hi, little guy. Hi, bud. Oh my gosh. Oh, she likes. Oh, what's that, bud? Hi, sweetheart. Hi, I know you like it, huh? What are you doing? Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? That's so funny. Let me see my phone. And gibbons and really all monkeys are so curious. I mean, you can see he just absolutely loves the tripod. Just like, what's going on with this thing? Oh my gosh, it is so absolutely adorable. Oh, we just got I just got another facility. Right so you said that these are made for life. They're made Great. for life, yeah. That is so cool to think about that, huh? Are you turning it off? Are you licking it? Oh, it probably tastes like something, huh? Probably. So the Gibbon literally stole, stole, stole Savannah's phone, and uh, yep, and it's literally he's making a vlog. Hey, hey, you, you. Oh, 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 you got your phone. oh my gosh, that's great! Watch out, vlog squad. Oh, that's crazy. So Savannah, you said this is a life-proof case, so. It's a life-proof case. They should sponsor me because I bought a ton of them. Okay, so Jacob, uh, <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, do you think she's getting her phone back? I think there's a good chance. I've actually had one phone totally destroyed by Mr. Grinch. Oh. They, they talking to me and that phone was done for. Dropped it from 40 feet up. Oh, no. Well, there, there you go. Oh, he likes the phone. Oh. Hey bud, what are you recording? It's not recording. It's not? It? It's not? Yeah. Oh, he switched it's not. the photo. Oh, you got a photo going. You were recording when he was hopping there though. Well, at oh. least we'll get some of it, huh? No. Oh. Here we go. He wants the lock. He's gonna lock us in. Ah, oh, we got it. <laughs> he, hit you. he goes, give me it. <laughs> we got the phone. That's we and got the, the phone and the lock. No, not this one. <laughs> not this one. I got you, cheeky. Bud. I love the thumb in the mouth. Yeah. All the Gibbons do thank that. You. Like oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. No, like, oh, thank you. No, that was a trick. <laughs> it was all a you. trick. He tried to grab the other one. <laughs> Look at. Oh, now he's gonna get your bracelets. Come on. You can come. You can come up here. Hi. We'll be friends. So this is an anteater. Yes, it's a tamon duo or a lesser anteater. I need that in my backyard. Really? It's bad. For your ant problem? Yes. I like think he'll get the job done. Extreme. He would go crazy. Oh yeah. These guys can have up to a 16 inch long tongue. Oh, in the ear. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Paul, you gotta do this, it's man. It's so tiny. Oh, you gotta do this, Paul. Because it's, trust me, it's, your ear will never be cleaner. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. So in the dry season, they're gonna eat from termite mounds, and in the wet season, they'll eat from ant mounds in Central and South America. His hair just feels exactly like my little pig. Little tamaduas are unbelievable. I mean, they're just crazy little wild animals. They don't even seem like real. And of course, the greater anteaters are even more impressive, but this guy is beautiful. Almost like a sloth, how slow. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Hang on. Yeah. Thank you. 
That was a deep kiss. <laughs> I just knew that, that, that my lip was about to come off. I gotta be honest with you, that was a close call with that uh, Tamadua. I mean, it had my lip really, really tight, and it could have just easily just went and my entire lip would have been in split in two, so thank God. I've got a little cut on the inside, but thankfully everything went well. Jacob saved my life. Well, he saved my lip anyways, because that would have been a pretty gnarly trip to the hospital. Regardless, <laughs> let's keep moving on. What in oh, the what's heck? Going on? No, I went deep. <laughs> 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 the little Tamadua actually had his tongue like probably halfway through your brain. That feels so weird. <laughs> that is dope though. Oh my god. There's no ants in there, I promise. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the little tiny goats. These were actually born just yesterday. Oh my god. Hi, little monkey. What are you doing, silly? Hi. Oh my god, they are so cute. Take a look at this. Oh my god. And it's really amazing when you get into big cats, lions, and tigers, how they develop a bond. Jacob actually raised these, and you can see how much they absolutely love them. I mean, as soon as he's right up there, they just come up to him. It's one of the things I think that's so amazing about these big cats. Look at how beautiful that big white lion is. Oh my God. Oh, hello, you know the Every time down here, the thing that I get the most excited about is, of course, reuniting with Lombani. The last time I was here, he jumped up and just gave me a big hug and kiss. I don't know if that's going to happen this time, but I'm definitely excited to see him. I mean, what an amazing chimpanzee. So smart, so close to humans, it's ridiculous. Bonnie! What's up, Bonnie? Hi, Limbani. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, yes, I know, sweetheart. How are you? What are you doing, sweetheart? You getting down? What are you doing? What are you into? Huh? Oh, Limbani? Come here, sweetheart. Limbani what are you doing? Just be careful. They all like the mic. Hey. Hi, sweetie. That is cool, dude. Hi, hon. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> no, no, swing. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's hanging on a tree branch. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, bud. We both start making monkey noises. Watch what he'll do. What's he doing, Siri? I know, I so know. Cool. That, I know, I that know. That is close to the human yet, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. 98% of our DNA. Hi, Limbani. Hi, you silly. Hi, silly. Hi, silly. What are you doing, Siri? I don't know. If you start tickling him, he'll laugh. Tickle, 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 tickle. tickle. Chimpanzees at like any given size about seven times the strength given their body weight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look how tiny it is. That's it crazy! Where are you going with it, bud? Oh. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> Hi, Limbani. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Take a look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> Limbani took Savannah's phone and uh, he is just, he's, he actually turned the video on. He's taking a video of yeah, himself right he now. He turns it on and off. Oh my gosh, Limbani. <laughs> what are you taking a video of, buddy? <laughs> oh my God. Yes, this is going to be the best video. This might be your best vlog ever. It's going to be I for sure. What, he's way better than you are at oh, I'm, he, I'm sure he can edit better than me. He's got four hands. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. I think he's watching Netflix. Oh, yeah. Same body as in Bonnie. Now we're gonna go see a tiger. You yes, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm definitely. Oh, and by the way, guys, obviously I'm gonna put a link in the description to Paul. He's got another view of what hey. he's vlogging. So uh, definitely go check him out on his recent million subs, by the way. Congratulations. Thank dude. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, bud. Ah, <laughs> we'll see you later, buddy. Yeah. We'll see you later, buddy. You have a good one. Bye, yeah. bud. Bye, Limbani. As if it's not insane enough to play with Limbani. Look at what we have here. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> This is actually Ira, the white tiger. Oh my gosh, you are so amazing, little Ira. Look at you. Oh, you're so beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, it's so good. Literally, look at this. It's almost the size of my hand. Just a little dude, it's almost that big. You know what, that's a steering noise, huh? Guys, take a look at this. It's a little golden tabby tiger. Oh my god. You know, the white ones are absolutely amazing, but to be totally honest with you, I love these. These are one of my favorite of the color mutations for sure. It's almost like a hypomelanistic when you think about snake terms. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And this one seems to be much more chill as well. Oh, you're such a cutie. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Just wrapping up the time here at the Zoological Wildlife Miami, and I know that some people aren't for these types of establishments. Some people are against the owners of these types of establishments, the way they keep things. The only thing I can say is I've been here, I talked to the keepers, I know everything about the history, and, and listen, these guys absolutely love their animals. A lot of people get an opportunity to get up and close to animals that they never could. I don't want to get into a debate whether you think they're good places, bad places, why you think they're good places, bad places. I love coming here because I love the people that work here, and Jacob and everyone else that has an unbelievable passion for these animals and really educating people about the conservation of these animals. So please, just let's leave it at that, okay? Let's not get into an argument or a debate over whether this place should be here or people should have the opportunity. I just really appreciate these places because it's an opportunity to really get people up close and personal. And hopefully they'll take that love and appreciation away. I mean, let's face it, to be able to be with Limbani or a white tiger or Oliver the capuchin, I mean, that's a really special thing. When will most people ever have a chance to do that and I just think it's absolutely amazing. Again, I'm not saying that all places like this are perfect. I just can only come from my experience being here several times now. Every time I'm in the Miami area, I want to come here because I want to support them and I want people to realize that these animals are absolutely incredible. I will put a link in the description to everything that I have here. Jacob, Limbani, Zoological Wildlife Miami and uh, you guys can make it up for yourself. For me, I think it's a great place and I hope that you guys enjoyed this adventure here. We're actually going to go look for some pythons and some other reptiles tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely incredible before we head back to Orlando and then ultimately head back home. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Again, I will put links to everything, including Paul's channel, Savannah's channel. So I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Let me know in the comments which animal you would like to interact with. And again, please do me a favor. Let's not get into any arguments. Let's leave that drama for some other channel, please, because I just want to stay positive and I love you guys. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video make sure to make that comment down below and stay positive people be kind to someone including me and zoological wildlife miami and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>